You only came here for one thing, that was to get my opinion on stuff. My opinion is you carry, you should carry spare ammo. And remember, guns are cool. One is none, two is one, and three is better. You go, holy shit, I don't even have like enough, I, do what you want, okay? Uh, I've never heard anybody complain about having too much ammunition in a fight, never. Okay, and I talked to guys who were at the Chosen Reservoir in Korea. I talked to guys that were in Way, okay, in Vietnam. Okay, I talked to guys who were like in Afghanistan. I'm like, oh yeah, well, like on my first tour, I carried seven magazines. On my second tour, I carried six. On my third tour, I carried four. And then on the fourth thing, I had to go back to the Humvee to get more ammo. <laughs> okay, all right, everybody got it? Cool. Number of rounds fired in a fight, this has to do with like equipment as well for like 1980s, that decade was the last decade for revolvers. The average police officer fired 2.8 rounds to get a hit on the target and he fired 5.6 rounds per engagement, which means he shot the gun until it was empty. In the 90s, we went to the Glock pistols, okay? They only kept track for four years and then they quit. And all you have to do is look at New York shooting records and you can see why, okay? They fired 12.9 rounds to get one hit on the target. They fired 17.5 rounds per engagement, so they shot the gun until it was empty. Remember in a fight, most people don't shoot to apply marksmanship. They shoot, okay, because it makes them feel good. If you don't think so, watch CNN and you'll see a guy like, tick, 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 tick. What's he shooting at? He's shooting at nothing. He's just shooting and shit over there. Well, why don't he get behind the sight? Really, why don't he get behind the sight? 58,212 people were killed in Vietnam. 325,000 were wounded. Half of everyone, half of everyone killed and or wounded in Vietnam was killed and or wounded from the collarbones up. Your head is a relatively important body organ, and when you stick your head up in a fight, someone will put a canoe through that bitch, hence why people go tick, 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 Okay? So, you go like, what the hell does that have to do with me? Don't shoot over the bed. Don't shoot over the hood of the car. Shoot around the end of the bed. Shoot around the dresser. Shoot around the refrigerator. Don't stick your head up over stuff when you shoot, because this is kind of important, okay? Shoot around stuff, even if you're using a rifle. Shoot around stuff. Don't put your head over stuff, okay? And this is like your pistol. I'm talking your Glock 43 pistol. Shoot around the end of the bed rather than shooting over the top, okay? That would be a better thing, all right? Rather than having your head stick up. Because you're gonna be more wired or programmed to use the sights because that's what you're training to do. We understand. That's what drives people nuts, okay? Like in our world is because we understand the purpose of shooting is hitting. So we apply marksmanship. When we apply marksmanship, which is look at the sight, press the trigger, okay, then we get good results, which is why we kill the crap out of them, okay? And that's why when they're doing all this stuff, can I get hit by that? Yeah, I can get hit by a piece of the space shuttle too. But as long as I stay out of the way and use protective cover, then I'd probably be better off, okay? If you hit him right here, will the fight be over? Not necessarily, okay? And what would I do if it didn't? I'd shoot him again, okay? And remember when you draw your pistol out, single stack, double stack, belt gun, I don't give a crap. When I haul that baby out of the shoulder holster, I plan on shooting every round that's in this gun when I take this thing out of the holster. But for you and I, we need to shoot them one round at a time until we solve the problem rather than just filling the sky full of lead, okay? Which is like when I talk to younger people, no disrespect to intended or implied, but Brady and I have these conversations, he's of the polymer generation, okay? They got stack, and they're like, what's that gun? It's a revolver. It's a four inch Smith & Wesson, model 57, 41 Magnum. And they go, that looks old. Yes. It's all, it's all blow a hole right through your ass, okay. It's a badass gun. So if you run into the wrong guy that knows how to run the right gun, there's an old adage, beware the man with one gun, he knows how, probably how to use it. And that would, in my case would be man or woman. If you got one gun and you know how to run it, awesome. That's one big happy meal. And remember, one gun will generate, or generate another gun. If all you have is a pistol and the guy runs down the hallway of the AK and you snap a cap when he rolls up in the cat ball, okay? I like, take that pistol, put it right in the holster, pick that AK up and start shooting back at him with their own shit. Woohoo! We're having fun now. And if it's a big fight, there'll be more than guns than one gun laying around. And I got one for you and I'll bring it up later, but why would you think that if there's a fight, you're only gonna fight with your gun? So I got the master of my equipment, okay? I got that. But I prefer, personally, if you ask me, I would want you to be a student of weapons craft. I would want you to be able to pick up a lot of different things and make them work.